Hey everybody, I'm Vincent Tsung, the Wandering Warrior. Now today, we're going to be discussing a wrestling technique called Shou Bie. And this is particularly seen in today's Shui Jia, which comes from Buku, Mongol Manchu Wrestling. Joining me today is going to be Manu, and we're going to dive into this together. Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss a technique widely known as Shou Bie, or to separate with the hand. The goal of this technique is that of blocking our opponent's knee and then twist our body in the same direction, making our opponent shift his whole weight on the blocked leg and then throwing him this way. When executing this technique, it is very important to pay attention to the position of your right shoulder. When pulling your opponent with your left hand and blocking his knee with your right, your right shoulder should be pushing hard against your opponent's arm. This way, you create a stronger leverage and you will be able to move your opponent using the weight of your whole body. To further explore the key points of this technique, let us take a look at its formula, or in Chinese, Kou Jue. In traditional Chinese martial arts, most of the movements use this kind of mnemonic rhyme to pass down important aspects of the practice. Crotch your step, tuck your waist, twist and turn your body, lift and separate the tiger's eye, pull with your lats. It is hard to precisely date this type of formula. However, given Shui Zhao Manchu Mongol origins, it is possible to speculate that this is a quite late one. Indeed, although Manchus during the Qing dynasty slowly stopped using Manchu languages themselves, we still have Manchu written records talking about wrestling practice. This specific technique is called Garai Gidama Murimbi, which literally translates to the hand that presses and twists. Murimbi is a verb which means to twist or to wring. I believe this to be the concept at the core of many techniques such as Wen, Wai or Bie. All of these techniques are nothing but an evolution of this twisting movement done with the goal of throwing our opponent to the ground. Awesome stuff. Now, as you may already know, Manu comes from the Beijing tradition. For me, in the Baoding Shui Jiao offshoot here in Taiwan, Pingdong specifically, we don't really have a fundamental movement archetype for Shou Bie, but uh, we do have La to pull and we have Bong to collapse. La, Chiban Dong Zuo, pulling, basic movement. Note that they are pulled out with my hand propping and my grips and twisted over as I turn my shoulder. Bung, Jiban Dong Zuo, collapsing, basic movement. Notice the similar movement but different body positioning. In our basics, they are taught as moves where you prop against the hip, whether from the inside, like La, 
or from the outside, like Bung. It is interesting to note that the fundamental archetype here isn't blocking the knee. Now, is that because of the Qing Dynasty competitive rule set, where the Sanbuying largely were not touching the legs, just like today's Inner Mongolian Jangatboh, Mongol wrestling? Possibly. Is this a particular feature of the Baoding Shuaijiao, Baoding wrestling of the time? Also possible. And could it be due to, in, at least in the Taiwanese context, this wrestling style's involvement in the military and police settings for training purposes? Also possible. And in fact, maybe all of the above. In all respects, this move is fundamentally still a kind of bie, but instead of blocking the leg only with your leg, you also apply your hand. You can see bie with hand propping can easily change into many variations with different angles and ranges. Eventually, you aren't even in the bie position, but still flipping them over. You can see so bie expressed in many ways here. The core concept is bie, which in Mandarin means to limp or to sprain, like an ankle or wrist. Uh, it is something that gives the feeling of causing someone to misstep, to limp, to twist. And perhaps this is the Mandarin translation of the Manchu concept murimbi. If you want a more detailed breakdown of Murimbi and all the techniques stemming out of this concept, let us know here in the comment section. Absolutely. If you guys want to see any other videos related to this or any other moves in Shuaijiao, comment down below. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. And lastly, thank you for following me on my journey. I salute yours. Peace.